CBS News for the area. This is the evening edition. Now at 6, a former San Francisco mayor has heard enough about a story he says is a lie. Now he's threatened legal action against Donald Trump. A grass fire wakes up a North Bay neighborhood Why fire officials say putting it out was a community effort. And home buyers can sometimes face challenges, but now a new law is giving potential buyers one more thing to ask about. Live from the CBS studios in San Francisco, I'm Adriana Cano. Brian is on it tonight. If you are outside today, chances are you may have ran into rain in parts of the Bay Area. This is video of rainfall in the North Bay just after 2 this afternoon. Let's bring in first alert meteorologist Darren Pratt to talk more about this little storm. Yeah, I think this requires an explanation, Andrea. The first thing we got to do is look at the obvious. That is our view right now. A live look from the virtual set looking out towards the Bay Bridge. It's misting in that. And that's a technical term on this. This, You know, if it mists long enough, eventually that stuff can accumulate on the ground and you get stuff you can measure. Let me show you how this has worked out today. And then I need to put this in the big picture context. What's going on today? Why do our skies look like that? And why are we getting enough mist so we can measure it now? Particularly along the coast. These are the rainfall totals so far for the day. Going from Moss Beach through Pacifica, San Francisco. Mill Valley, the winter so far. 607 inch of rain there at the base of Mount Tam, and Point Reyes has also picked up just about a couple hundred seven inch rain, but it's not only there. If you get a little bit of elevation, come over this way. Look at the East Bay Hills. The numbers aren't quite as impressive, but we have gotten about 107 inch of rain over here as well, and I know it's rained in the city, you know, and it's